Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, where my goal is to bring you better tools for digital artists, for content creators, and for note takers. So I'm really excited to do this video because um, it's easy for me. <laughs> I don't have to do anything really fancy. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the OneNote preset, the purple preset that I recently made. And I am so excited. Tablet Pro finally allows for colors, uh, for buttons and fonts. And this is such a welcome addition. It's something that I have wanted for a long time. So I am going to be doing a video on uh, how to do the buttons. There's a little bit to know in that process, but uh, anyway, let's get back to the specific thing we're talking about today, which is the purple preset. All right, so one thing to note is right here, this is Keypress OSD, and I'm using Keypress to uh, do a lot of different things, but specifically to show the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using here. So that, that there'll be a link to Keypress OSD in the description. And uh, Keypress is a program I've been working with uh, Marius Sukon uh, to develop, and uh, as part of what we're pulling into Tablet Pro. All right, so let's talk about the buttons. So here, say we want to copy something. This is copy, and this is paste, and this is cut. Uh, enter, it's going to obviously drop you down a few lines, escape. Uh, this right here, F1, just hides the ribbon up here at the top. I would love for it to go full screen, but full screen, again, it removes uh, the artist pad. And for me, while it's pretty, having it all full screen, it just is not as functional. Uh, right here, you select somewhere in the middle of the text. If you press this button, it's going to select the text all the way up. And you press here, this is select all. And here, this is select down. So this is a, a really easy way to select a body of text without having to try and move that little cursor because this is not the easiest way to do it for most of us. All right, so here, if we want to make this um, superscript, uh, you just press this button here and that toggles it on and off. Highlighting, and that does not toggle on and off. You have to undo that. All right, so this up here is backspace. And I'm not exactly sure why OneNote will occasionally jump around when you're using undo, but it, it does. Um, this opens up the notebooks. I wish that this was a toggle because I'd love to be able to open and close that. Uh, this one adds a new page to wherever you're at. So this is going to add another page right down here. Um, pressing, let's just go ahead and close this. By the way, I'm not sure how I got these on the side. When I was trying to do all these shortcuts when I was learning it, I pressed every combination on the keyboard I could think of. And I don't know if these were here before or not, but they're not in my other OneNote version. So if someone knows how to turn these on and off, that would be cool. Um, recent notes, search, and just the uh, view for all the notepads. Okay, these right here on the very left side, there's a little gray and a little gray button. This is gonna take you to your previous and to your next. So right here, let's say we wanted to make this text right here a clickable URL. You can have it right here and just input the address. And here, if we want to make this, like I have this body of text right here set to important. So if I do a search, you can do important and it's gonna find uh, those different ones that you flagged. You're going to press that button. This is undo, redo. Uh, recently, we worked on a new app called the Bible Verse Expander. And um, this solved the problem that I had. So I have this set to bring up Bible Verse Expander. So I can click and quickly add a verse. So if I tap down here and hit paste, and then I can add the next verse, the next verse, 
or pull up here to a different book and copy a block of verses and paste, um, which for me, super useful. Uh, for you guys, if you're not using that, just reprogram that to whatever it is you want. Paste and insert are replaceable ones. I'm sorry, Bible and insert. Um, paste, we all know what that does. This is delete key. Bold, you can make your text bold. And what this is actually doing is increasing the size of this right here. So if you have this selected and you hit one of these, it'll adjust it down to the size um, that you want. So if you have something that's boldened and you're trying, how do I unbold it? That would be a, that would be how you did it. Okay, well, we're just gonna delete that. Uh, same thing here. Um, you select some text. These are really standard, italic, underline, bold. If you want to do bullet points, just tap, select here, bananas, bananas, enter, ice cream, ice cream, enter, cheese, enter, bacon, toast. <laughs> I like that I'm pretending I'm going to buy toast. I only buy bread that's already been toasted. So go here, uh, this is a numbered list and this is check boxes. If you didn't see the last video, those are in there more. Uh, here's Cortana. This is the keyboard button. Again, doesn't seem to work here. Not sure why. Windows key, sniping tool. Okay, I had it set on the wrong one. Tap and paste. Oh, by the way, this up here is um, Alt-Tab. So you can go back and forth between two programs really quickly. Uh, all right, and this is, oh, I put these in here. Um, you can see me moving through the text. Um, these are the arrow keys, obviously. Oh, and that one's set to one, which should be set to something different. And this is something else. Uh, anyway, this is the assist pad, so that does that. Uh, all right, you guys, that's it for the artist pad. Uh, you can go ahead and find that. Um, we are creating a new place on the Tablet Pro website where when you guys make a preset that you're proud of, you can share it, and you can share a YouTube link with it. You can share a image with it, so you're, you're showing what you did, as well as um, writing a description and um, uploading your I and I file directly to the website to share with other people. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be really great to have that. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to see what people can, can make. Subscribe to this channel if you found anything useful. And uh, if there's any one of these that you guys really, really like, it helps having comments in the comment section. It does better for the video. So if you have one, please share it. And it's good for the community as well for us to interact. So tell me which one of these buttons over here you think is the coolest. Personally, I love this little section right here. I love the little yellow star and the blue um, button. By the way, I have a background image behind this. It's just adding the texture, and then I brought down the button opacity to 70%. So you can see some of the uh, texture from under the underneath image coming through on the buttons. So if there's something over here that you like the most, and you think you're going to use a whole bunch, put in the comment section. And also if there is a keyboard shortcut that you think should be in the purple preset, uh, let me know um, because I'm going to be continually using this and updating it to make it better and more functional. Please share this with other people that you know take notes or that use a tablet. And um, have a great day.